on my toes again. <laughs> I was going to do my makeup and hair. No, I'm not wearing my toes. Lord, I'm such a nut. And I got to go get it put in. Hold on. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I hit the button before I knew y'all were on here. If you're just coming in, you'll have to rewind to the front if you want to see me without my tooth. I forgot to put it again. Anyway, um, I, I can't really see good. I can't see the image good. I'm in the bathroom, and I was just going to cut my hair and uh, style it a little bit. And I can't tell if my head is cut off or not. So, I don't think it is, but I don't know for sure. Let me see if I can see y'all's chat. Um, where's my chat? Y'all, is it coming in clear? Let me just go get another device and check it. Okay, if you don't normally watch me, I, I did. I hit the button before I was ready, um, and it went to live. And since it started, I went ahead and started it. I'm going to go into YouTube and just see what this looks like because I have no idea what the view is. Uh, my phone screen is giving me like this tiny little view, so I can't really tell what y'all are looking at. So real quick, I'm just going to open it up and see, and then we'll start. Yes, my head is cut off. Okay, that helps. That helps. Okay. Um, so let me fix it a little bit. What up? What up, ladies? Now that I got a computer in here, um, I guess I don't need to get too close. So, I want y'all to see my hair. I think that's going to do it good. So let me see. All right. So I've been fixing my hair and it's been driving me crazy. This part right here and this part right here. So what it's doing is like I've always liked to take my hair and kind of pull it right here. And this is too long because when I pull it up right there, it wants to stick out. Let's see. It wants to stick out too much. So I was going to trim it a little bit, do my makeup, and I thought, you know what? I didn't see the ladies yesterday, and, the, and not just ladies, my guys too. And so I thought I would come on here today and say hey to y'all while I fix my hair. Um, I'm going to go in there and make a chicken pot pie in a second. See how long that is right there? I'm going to cut it off today so it's not driving me crazy. And then we're going to do a little bit of makeup. And I'm just going to cut it right here into the sink, and then I'll get it out. And let me move my computer. I think y'all can see me pretty good. I wanted to do it up and down, but when I did that, it didn't work good. So um, I can't. Now I just want to see if I can pull it up. And it not be too long. It's still too long right here. So I just cut my hair however I want to. If I don't like the way it looks when I fix it, I just cut it off. Mama did the same thing when I was growing up. She'd be in the bathroom and she'd go, go get me the scissors. <laughs> oh, I don't just like her. Just like my mama. So anyway, yesterday I got up, and I was in a weird mood yesterday. You ever just get in those moods? And I just went back to bed. I went back to bed. 
to bed and I got up at 10 30 yesterday I said I'm just going back to bed then when I got up I decided that I was gonna go to Sam's Club so I went to Sam's Club I had fun I walked the whole club and got me some uh vegetables some strawberries a pineapple what else did I get and just some fun stuff like that. Sorry, y'all, but I have to bend over the sink so it can fall in the sink because I don't want it all in the floor. Okay. Um. Oh, she wants in here, but I ain't letting her in. She's driving me crazy. This kitty cat's like having a baby all over again for real. For real, Z. Okay. Now that should do it. I'm not real sure about this back here. This is what's driving me crazy. You see that? I hear you, turkey. I hear you, little turkey. I know. Mama's being mean. Y'all, she's driving Joanne crazy. Some of y'all have asked, where's Joanne? Well, she's here. And Joanne don't like her at all. And she wants to play with Joanne, and Joanne is not interested. All right, so that's good enough. I think we trimmed it enough that I can get it up in a time okay. So now what we're going to do is just do a little makeup just for fun. I, I colored my hair during the hurricane when I didn't have any, um, when I didn't have any power, believe it or not. Um. So I'm trying to see what kind of view y'all got. You know I don't have my glasses on because so I can barely see anything without my glasses. Woo! How are y'all today? I'm loud. Um, okay. I put on this shirt and it kind of shows my ugly chest, but I don't care. You know, when we get old, we ain't as pretty no more. Um, let's see. Let's do my makeup. I'm going to get this hair out of the sink first. Y'all can see what how much I've cut off. I'll let y'all see. And then we'll do makeup. While y'all get tossed to, to and fro. To and fro. So I just let it fall in there. Then I get toilet paper. This is why Chris cuts his hair too. Let me just get toilet paper. Now, when I cut it and it was really long in the spring and I cut it all off, I actually took my hair outside for the birds to make their nests with if they wanted some of it. I don't know if they did or not, but I put it in one of the bird feeders <laughs> so that it was in the spring, you know, when they were building their nests because they do use hair in their nests if they can find some. And then I just get out most of it like that. And that's what I do. That's what I do, y'all. All right, so. I'm just trying to make sure y'all can see. Now, I wish I had something to stick my hair back in. Um, but I don't. I don't. I don't. So, I won't. I won't. Anyway, this might be boring to y'all. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. I'm just trying to get y'all up so y'all can see all my wrinkles. Y'all see all my wrinkles? Now, look, I'm all natural. I'm going to bring y'all over here so you can really see good under this. I have got a light in my bathroom that's like a, it's a heat lamp, really. But I use it to help put on my makeup, too. I don't know if I can stretch the phone over here. Probably not. Never mind. Anyway, I got a heat lamp in here that gives me more light, um, which is really nice. What's crazy is we live down here where it's not even cold enough in the heat lamp in the bathroom. So I'm going to start today with uh, my... Cheap primer that I always use. It's made by Wet n Wild. It's like four dollars. You can get it at some Walmart's, and it's called Dewy Illuminex. 
And I like to put it on, and sometimes I wear this, and I don't wear anything but this. Now, on days that I just, you know, I'm being lazy. So it's kind of a brown, brown, frosty brown, a really light tone. See it? But it's super shiny, so I bathe in it. And it's super cheap, so I use a lot of it. So I put it here on my neck, because you see what a redneck I am. That's because I'm a redhead. My mama was that way, too, and she wasn't a redhead. Me and her both have this ugly red chest. And if we get mad, we turn really red or excited. And it's our capillaries are, I've read about it. It's because your capillaries are close to the skin. It's really not because you're a redhead. So you could do that in, without being a redhead. So I just put this all over my neck like that and on my face like that. And then if I'm having an all natural day, I'll just put on some mascara and this is what I pretty much wear. Um, but on the other days, let me get me more shrink. But on the other days, I go ahead and put on more makeup. Today, I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to look good today if I can. I'm going to make, I'm going to do a video today. So, all right. And I know I don't have to wear makeup to do a video. This is a concealer and it's just Maybelline, something cheap. My sister uses that expensive kind, but she's got a lot darker circles around her eyes like my grandmother had. So she uses something a lot. Uh, stronger, you know, but I don't, I don't have to, I don't reckon, and I don't really use a lot of uh, applicators and things like a lot of people do, if I do, I use these, and I just don't make that big of a deal out of my makeup, really, and sometimes my kids get on to me, but, because they're more picky, well, not me, but Amy is super picky about makeup. She don't like it because I put my eyebrows on with anything I can grab my hands to. <laughs> I don't I don't really use the right stuff all the time. I just don't. Okay, so that's my concealer. That's all I do. And if I wear foundation, this is what I put it on. So I guess we'll put some on today since y'all are on here. How's that? And this is just cheap. Let me, this is Maybelline. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Okay. And so I'm just going to shake it up and put it on my face. I like to use the, uh, there's another one I really like too. I just, I just grab whatever I got. But I also use a mousse foundation as well that's made by Maybelline this one actually is a little darker I think than it probably should be but we'll pretend it's not nobody's gonna know not really and, and um, sometimes I put my makeup down on my chest too. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Because see how red I am? It's so ugly. I hate it. My mama did this. She did the same thing. Put makeup on her chest because of her redness. And it's not rosacea. It's just how we're made. Okay. I don't make a big fuss out of it. All right, that's it. Now I'm gonna wipe off my hands. And real quick, we're gonna do blush, bronzer, a little bit of eyeshadow, not much, and some eye makeup. And lipstick. All right, let's do the bronzer first. So I just wanted to say hey to y'all since I didn't get to see you yesterday. I was in one of my moods. I really was too. 
I was in a really weird mood. Sometimes we just are. So I went shopping. That's a that's the thing I do. When I'm in a weird mood, I just go shopping. I shouldn't, but I do. But I did eat a hot dog when I got to Sam's Club because you can get a hot dog and a Coke for $1.50. And I thought, you know what? I better eat because if I don't, I'll just want to spend more money than I should. So I, I did eat. Now I'm going to put on, that was a bronzer. This is just blush and highlighter. And I just use the same brush. <laughs> and I just put it on lightly. Just like that. I seen a woman putting on makeup on a video last night. She was so pretty. Whoop. Pretty woman. She was an older woman. And she put on, um, now I have to use lipstick primer. Because if I don't, y'all, my lips bleed like crazy. And I, I guess just because I have dry skin. Because I've never smoked. But they do. They, they bleed up in there like a smoker's does. Okay. And then liner. Uh oh. I do go over my lip a little bit in my liner. Mama did that too. I could about do this blindfolded because I wear lipstick constantly. It's my favorite. My lipstick. All right. For now, we're not going to fill it in until I decide. I guess for shadow today, I'll wear browns. So I watched this woman do this last night. I'm going to try to do it. We'll just we'll see if I can do it. Y'all ready? The rocket steady. Rock, rock, steady, steady. Get it, get it. Okay. I don't have any good eyeshadow brushes. Okay, I'm just going to use the same brush. Y'all ready? She put like her medium color on first. And she went mostly here. She didn't really put much of it anywhere else. Just mainly there. We're just going to see what happens if I do mine like she did last night. All right. So that's your medium color. And she kind of did go into the crease a little like that. I'll do that over here because I didn't do it over here. Let me step over here and see if this is even. No. A little bit more on this side. My cat's fussing. Because her mama's in here. All right. Now she put the darker... Right in the corner. So we're going to use it next. And she just put it like right in the very corner. Do y'all know how hard this is? And I don't have a mirror and I don't have my glasses on. She kind of did it like that. Just Except hers was a lot darker than mine. She was using like black and gray, but I'm I'm a redhead, so I'm not gonna do that. Okay. Then she took the big brush and she put her highlighter on. Just the light color here. And of course her eyebrows looked amazing because she plucked them good. I ain't plucked mine and I don't know how long. All right. 
That's that. That's all the makeup I'm doing for my eyes. Now, she put her mascara on, I mean, her liner, she put a lot of liner on. But I'm not. So, I think I'm going to do like my daughter does and put it halfway today. She only goes halfway on her eye with it. Like that. I'll fix that corner in a minute. And then the corner, do the corner like that. Like that. Okay, let me go look in the other mirror because I can't see. Actually, it looks pretty doggone good considering I can't see. Now, let's put on some lipstick. What color y'all want to use? A light color? Let's use uh, my light brown. It's like a mink color. I left my coffee cup out in there on the counter. I hope she don't get in it. Lord, that cat has been something else to take care of. I've had to hide change, um, glasses. Now she's gotten into my earrings on the dresser. She can jump all the way up on stuff. Without even having anything to help her. She could just jump the eye. No, I haven't had a baby kitten since Joanne was a baby. When that's been, let's see, May was about nine years old. And May turns 22 on the 10th. Me and Chris may go see her over the weekend. I'm just going to put a little bit barely in the corner and that's it on both eyes. And then we'll have to go back and fix where it messed up. Okay, let me go look in the mirror. See what I did. Actually, it don't look too bad, does it? All right, we're going to do my eyebrows real quick. Let's use that same orange. It really matches my hair good. This and this, if I put this orangey one on my eyebrows, it looks good. So we'll use it. And I do. I just grab whatever. I could do a much better job, but I don't fool with it. Matter of fact, when I went to Sam's Club yesterday, if one of the viewers had seen me that, I thought, Lord have mercy. I got to go over here to finish this because I really can't see. Okay. Yeah, when I went to Sam's Club yesterday, I looked rough. But I was feeling rough. I was just kind of down. And so I get that way too, y'all. Y'all think I'm always in such a good mood, and I am for the most part. But there are days that we all have that are just kind of yucky days. And uh, my sister said, it's probably because you're down there by yourself, away from everybody. And then Chris is always gone. <laughs> she said, eventually that's going to get to you. And I said, oh, I don't know about that but she thinks she thinks that's what it is but you see how that's wanting to stick out right there y'all look at it see that it's ugly i want it to be able to draw by itself and not do that i don't like it now i know i could curl it and it would go away see that right there you see how long well 
See how that's sticking out right there? We're going to cut it off. Let's see how this one's doing. But you want it to be able to dry by itself and not stick out like it's uh, trying to fly off with you. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to put some product in it, blow it dry just a little bit, pin it up, and we're done. And then we're done, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to try to do this. It's going to be loud. Um, first, I'm going to, because my hair is naturally curly, the shorter it is, the prettier it is. As far as that goes, i got to get me some hair gel from somewhere. Chris straightened up my, Chris straightened up my bathroom, because we've been having Bible study here. And he's, I don't know where he put some of my stuff, it's just gone. I can't find any of my hair products down here. I wonder if he put them out there in the hall closet. Well, I don't have any product, so we're just going to spray it with hairspray. Same thing as gel. It's just pretty close to the same thing. Now, once I dry a little bit, I may curl it around my face to make it pretty. Actually, it looks cute. I shouldn't even dry it. I think I'm just going to pin it up and be done with it. That way it don't go freezy. So we'll just put a couple of pins in it. Oh, we'll put bobby pins in it. <coughs> and we're going to be done. I'm going to go in there and make a, what do you call it, a chicken pot pie. What I'm gonna I hear her in there playing with something. See, look at that crazy thing sticking out right there. You see that? Ugh. It's driving me crazy. I guess I'm gonna have to cut all that off. To really get it to do what I want it to do. That is just not making me happy. Let me cut all this off right here. Look. Oh gosh, by golly. It can't stick out too much if it ain't long enough, can it? Now. girls and guys now once it dries i'll come in here and touch it up around my face with a curling iron but um that's it yet i i didn't really have a lot to tell y'all it's kind of been, been kind of bored and boring but just because i didn't see you yesterday i thought you know what i'm gonna go in there put my makeup on cut my hair in front of them and uh say hello to everybody come here jade you little turkey come here and i'll let everybody see you today what are you doing what you got? I can tell you one thing. Um, she sheds. I don't like that part. I know. Can you say hello? Say, I don't like to be picked up. I just really don't. Um, you see the lights. They can't see your face, your pretty little face. Say hello. I'm the menace. There. Um, I don't know what else to talk about. Let me see if y'all got any questions for me today. Let me turn on my computer. Now I can see. One, one, two, two. So I did, the only thing I bought me yesterday was a pumpkin sweater, and it was nice. 
I wonder if I'm even on here anymore. Yeah. 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 Oh. What kind of mascara do I have? I'm looking at questions now. This is called uh, Stila. I know I say it wrong. S-T-I-L-A. And it's called Huge Extreme Lash. And I get it at, um, I get it on Amazon. You can get it on Amazon. It's on my beauty page. Or you can go to Ulta and buy it. And it's about $20, but it lasts me a long time. And um, it does a super good job um, on eyelashes. Let me see if I got a bunch of stray. Yeah. And after I get finished with my eye makeup, I typically I typically take a cotton swab and I go underneath them to clean them to clean it up because my eyelashes are long enough that they get my face, you know, it gets on my face. So I typically do that after I put after I've had it on for a few minutes, just like that, and clean it up a little. All right, let's see if y'all got any more questions. Uh, you straight iron on your sides of your hair that flip up. Yeah, I know I could do that, but I don't want to have to do it. So if I cut them really short, then I, I, I ain't got to worry about it. Now, I know everybody likes my hair short, and I know there's some out there that love it long because it is pretty long. But I'm going to tell you, it's so much easier for me to get out of the shower and have it cut short enough like this that I could just spray it, put a couple of pins in it, and get out the door. I think it's, at my age, I'm sorry, but uh, it's it's not about being a beauty queen. It's about looking nice and neat. And because um, regardless if you think you do or not, all y'all women out there that's my age, you don't look like you're 25 even if you think you do. Um, I know a lot of them think they do. <laughs> and so many of you cheat. And you use that stupid filter on your phone when you take pictures. My sister's guilty of it. It makes me so mad. I'm like, why can't y'all just take a picture of your real face? Why can't you just show everybody your beautiful wrinkles that God gave you? <laughs> That's what I think. Show people how you really look. I never use a filter, ever, because I think it's cheating. It is cheating, ain't it? It's like Photoshopping, really. So anyway, let's see. If you're guilty of using a filter, no, I don't perm my hair. It's curly like this. If you're guilty of using a filter every time you take a Facebook selfie or uh, a selfie, Tell me if you're guilty. And if you are, um, try not to be so vain and just take a picture of your real beauty. <laughs> That's what I say. Um, Samantha says she don't even know how to use a filter. Do you know what? I tried to find mine the other day. My sister was telling me. And I said, I'm going to use a filter and just see how I look with a filter on and she said, but you do that. And I said, I will. And uh, and then I never could figure out how to do it. I mean, I can figure out how to video, how to go live on two flat platforms, but I can't figure out how to put the filter on on my photos. Uh, but that's all right. I don't like to use them anyway. Um, there's so many people my age that use filters, and it makes them look like they got the smoothest skin and no wrinkles at all. And y'all, I will be honest with you. If I lost some weight, I would be a lot more wrinkled in my face. I, you know, I'm pretty plump. I'm a two eggs easy, and so my face, I don't hardly have any wrinkles on my face because I got plenty of pretty fat to go fill in those wrinkles. You know, I think bigger women are pretty, and y'all know I've told you that anyway. Now, not as big as I am because I got a watermelon belly. <laughs> oh, I put on my pumpkin shirt last night. I'm going to go get it and show it to you. And I told Chris, I said, oh, my gosh, Chris. My belly looks like a pumpkin with a sweater on. Let me go get it. I'll show it to you. Let's see. Let's see. 
I can't believe that cat hasn't knocked it in the floor. I had it on this morning because it was cold in here when I got up. Y'all, they had, I never wear sweaters ever. The reason I bought this is me and Melissa are contemplating whether or not we're going to have a booth in the Cedartown Fall Festival, which is the first of November. If I do that, then I can't go back home for, for Thanksgiving. So I got to choose whether or not we have a booth in the Fall Festival in Cedartown or I go home for Thanksgiving. So I want to talk to my kids to figure out what we're going to be doing for Thanksgiving before I decide. But I bought this so that if we do go to Cedartown for the Fall Festival, because it's cold up there, I could wear this. And I might could wear it to church. But when I put it on last night, I said, it, this is a 3X, I think. I, I told Chris, I said, Lord, let me step back and let y'all see my belly. I told Chris, I said, Lord, my belly looks like a big pumpkin. That's what I said. My belly looks like a big pumpkin. <laughs> Woo, it's hot. I can't hardly wear a sweater now. I'm too, I'm just too hot natured. Melissa is pretty hot natured. What's so crazy about Melissa every time I go home, she'll talk about how she's hot and how this and how that. And I'll go home and she's wrapped up in a doggone thermal blanket with a robe on. And I'm like, my God, Melissa, no wonder you sweat like a pig. Um. Do you like the sweater I got at Sam's Club? I think it was $16.49 or something like that. I don't just don't quote me on it, but it was a little less than $20. Um, I'm trying to see if y'all got any more questions. Let me let me check it on my YouTube people. I'm, I'm looking for questions. I got any more questions? What y'all want to talk about? I guess I've been on here. Uh oh. I, I almost hit the end stream button. Try to back this up. Lord. I'm going to make a cheeky pot pie, but I want to wait till Chris gets home. Switch the account to Real Southern Woman. Chris, uh, we were going to, okay, I got me a rotisserie chicken, of course, at Sam's Club, and that's why I'm making chicken pot pie tonight, and we were just going to have half of it with vegetables last night, and I was so thankful when Chris came into the living room, and he said, Tammy, I said, what? He said, how about we just eat chi a chicken sandwich with some potato chips? I said, heck yeah, and I got out my, um, my, um, Wait a second. I'm trying to find this. I just want to make sure that I'm not missing somebody else's comment. Anyway, so I got out my Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce and made us um, I toasted some buns. Uh -oh. I toasted some buns and I made us a barbecue sandwich and we had laced potato chips. And that was so simple and easy. Thank you for celebrating our bellies. You're welcome, honey, bunny. You know what? Women our age, most of them have bellies. Even when they're skilled, skinny, they still have a little belly that pokes out. You know what? I don't think we should be so ashamed of how God made us. And you know what? If you're fat, it just means you're super blessed with food. You know, back in the day, a long, long, long time ago, if a woman was fat, it meant she was wealthy. <laughs> Woo! Let's see. Um... I'm just looking through here right quick. A lot of y'all say you don't use filters anyway. You know, the ones that I comment and do. <laughs> They're not going to comment and say, I use a filter. But, you know, hey, okay, they're there to use, I guess. They're there to use y'all. All right. So, um, I guess I'm going to go and I got hair on me. And, uh, 
I need to go clean up the kitchen, empty the dishwasher, get ready, get everything out to do my life so that when Chris gets home, we can get it done. It will post on YouTube tonight, um, my chicken pot pie. I have not done the chicken pot pie. I looked, and it's been quite a while. It's been well over a year, and um, it's been longer than that since I did one in my iron skillet, which is my favorite way to do it. So that's what we're making tonight. It's going to be delicious. All right. You know what I seen at Sam's Club yesterday that I don't ever buy? And y'all tell me if you buy it. And I thought, you know what? I ought to buy some of that and just make some different things with it just because it's available. And for people that are single and um, cooking for their self, you know, they probably buy more stuff like that. But it was canned roast beef. You know, you can buy canned tuna. You can buy canned chicken. But they had canned roast beef. And it was made in the United States, and um, it was in a pretty big thing. And I thought, you know, I could make hand pies out of that. There's a lot of different things I can make with that. And so if you think that's a goofy idea and you're not interested in me using something out of a can, tell me. But you know what? There's a lot of y'all out there that uh, are at home and you just want something really fast and easy to make. That's not always a, a real piece of meat that you got to get out and sear and wait all day for it to cook. So if you'd be interested in me doing some simpler things like that, let me know, just so I'll know. Uh, I started to grab it, and then I did, and it was $16 and something. It's not cheap, but, you know, beef right now, it's super expensive. But you know what? It's cooked and ready to eat, so that's what makes it uh, good enough to buy to me uh, because it cost $12 to get a taco. At Taco Bell, it cost $12 over $12 for a value meal now, which is just crazy. So if you could get a, a can of roast beef for $5 and I could show you how to put it together and make something good out of it, then uh, it'd be worth it, wouldn't it? Oh, that's my cat box. It's, she has been to the bathroom and it, every time she goes to the bathroom, she's looking at it now. It goes through there and it sifts it for you. So I don't have to sift my, my litter box. It does it for me. And it is an expensive thing, but me and Chris are single and we we thought if we're getting a cat, we're getting one of these cats from May, we're getting us one of them boxes. And she's just watching it. It's so funny, y'all. Let's see. I don't know if I can turn this. I don't think I can turn the stream around. I don't know if y'all can see her or not. She's watching that box. Ain't that fun? You like watching your box. Don't you jump in there while it's moving, Jade? Like, I'm not gonna listen to you, Mama. I'm busy. So it's done. So I, it's also got a counter on it that tells you how many times she's been to the bathroom. So today it's uh, 56. She's been to the bathroom 56 times. And I don't really know how long. I'll just have to kind of check on it and see how many times she can go to the bathroom before I have to change out the tray in the bottom. The trays are $24.99 and you just put them in the bottom. But y'all, litter's pretty doggone expensive. And it's supposed to last up to a month, but I don't really know if she's a kitten, if she goes more than a normal cat. I mean, you know, than a grown cat would. But anyway, I guess I'll get off of here and um, we will talk later. And hopefully, Lord willing, I'll be here in the morning for y'all. But yesterday I was just not in the mood to do Bible study. And sometimes we're just, I mean, I'm just being real and honest with you. I just was not in the mood. I was in a bad mood. I was in a dreary mood. Went back to bed, got up and went shopping. And wound up having a pretty doggone good day. Except every year when they pull out the pumpkins, they get rid of my watermelons. And I don't like it. I don't know why they can't sell a watermelon and a pumpkin at the same time, but they can't. So everywhere I went, nobody had any watermelons. Oh, yeah, they got it cut up where you could pay twice the price for it. But nobody has a whole watermelon. So anyway, that's a bummer because I really wanted another watermelon. Anyway, we will talk to you soon. And thanks for watching Real Southern Woman, where we love God. And we're not ashamed to say it. And we cut our own hair. And we don't use filters.
not hot up here. Y'all can use a filter if you want to because you're going to anyway. But you should be proud of what God has done for you. You should be proud that you're getting old enough to have wrinkles because you know what? The alternative is not something you want. That's being dead. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye.